So this is what you've got. Well, at least what we've got in the Justice League um, Mesco 112 a Batman Tactical Suit Box. There are several stuff happening already here. You see that uh, we've got, of course, the, the stand. And this is the arm, the stick arm, as I would like to say it, to hold your figures. And then there are this uh, bunch of uh, unknown components. So what this is actually is, is this is to hold these sticks inside of this uh, hole. So you can see there are a lot of holes and it is designed to put this, each one of them inside here. And what this is also is for actually, this is for the stand for the cape or for the cape holder, as I would like to say it. So you see there's some clips over there, it's made from rubber, there. and this also, it's also made from rubber, and you see the pointy end, it really fits really well over there. Now, how do I put this inside, and how do I attach it uh, to this, uh, the base stand? It's actually really simple, so you see, it's just like this, there's a slope over there, and what you can do is, you can put it over here there so it's already attachable and then you can move it like this it's very uh, movable you can move it 180 degrees and now you see that this is the plate and it's felt really weird because we have this uh, pointy end and normally you will see that there's also going to be a hole inside here that plug this in but I don't see any you guys don't see any and you see that this is actually a two-way base stand so it's really nice first you can put it underneath batman's boots or any other action figure i think but you can put it underneath there so if you would like batman to just stand on its own without any uh uh flying effect or any base stand helps then you can just do that easily the other thing, I really like to use uh, the base stand and with the arms is because I can do a lot more uh, extra pose for figure itself. So, what you need to do is use this pointy end and you see this is the back and you see there. So what you need to do is just push it there. You can see that... Uh, it's easily uh, plucked out. You can put it back in. So it's really a plug and play version. Now it's already a, a hole, it's already punctured on it. You can just easily put it in. It's really firm, it's really nice. You can just move it nicely. And there, there you go. Now we can try. We can try to put Batman over here. And see, it's also nicely uh, attached. And you can uh, already do a lot with this. You can uh, like this. It's, uh, it's already flying well, see? It's really nice. Now, let's play around with the capes, with the cape holder. So, what I'm going to do right now is, you see, see these holes over there? And I, th I already used some of it to experiment. So, let's, for instance, let's just try to put this here, just to play around. And what you can do is, it's very... Uh, flexible so this is like a wire and it's very flexible and what you can do is put this I'll show you I'll move the tripod here and I'll just uh, show you with a better angle okay there you go now we have a better angle so you see that uh, 
this is it. Yep, that's it. Now he's flying well. Another wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you can just put the cape on the back side like this, and that, and also maybe just use uh, this one. Oops, it's falling down. Maybe like this here, over here. And as I said, you see that uh, so here. there's this clip right here that you can use. I'll put the focus there. There, see, this is a clip right here that you can use to hold the cape. So let's try this one. You can basically any way you like. See. It's already holding now we can uh, try to add more to give an extra nice spreading out cape let's try to put it over here and what more okay put it very nicely over there and can try to put it also here sometimes it's a you just need to uh, make sure that the of course the, the fabric is going uh, inside the clip and you just need to do this also for the other one oh well it's way a lot trickier to do this in front of a camera because you need to maintain that uh, you can see everything that you make sure that uh, you guys can see it everything so see that one it's already uh, put over there see on the back side what you can do is you can also try to uh, hide it as good as you can like this so I'll try to move it again over here see it's uh, coming apart again it's a bit tricky one but I know that you guys eventually will be able to uh, do this because it's very easy actually. Now I have two and let's just uh, for sake of uh, assurance I'll just put another one randomly I think around here. I'll just put it over here. This is the longest one. Okay. So this is like a tentacles-ish. And now there are sometimes there are a few ways there are a few ways that you can do the first one is to try to hide as good as possible the cape um, the clip holder underneath the cape so you can just uh, put it like that feels a little bit weird you just need to play around with this oh it's uh, getting out again so let me just do play around with this just try to find the best angle for the cape this looks very weird it just looks like he bought too much fabric and he doesn't know how to uh, properly uh, wear it but i will try to play around with this but you guys get the point and i'll show you the final result after this all right so i already uh, reassemble again the capes and you see now that uh I made some uh, tricks in order to be as best as possible to hide the clip from the cape. You see, this is uh, him having this so-so uh, uh, pose. I put it really quickly, and you guys see that there's this clip over here. Come on, let the autofocus working. See. There's one clip holding on it and you don't really see the others but I have another one over here so I did some tricks to be as best as I said as best as possible to hide the rest of the holder but if you see underneath it there there I'll show you that there see there's some extra uh, tentacles there's actually four that I use and the other two I put it 
underneath it so this is just well it's, it's based up to you whether you want it or not to do this but i prefer to be uh, as subtle as possible on showing the cape and as you notice i still have one extra uh, holder over here but i don't use it for now i am quite satisfied with using four and it's also quite a tricky one to uh, use but well it's it's easy to install easy to assemble but it's the trickiest part is of course the posing of the characters anyway that's about the how to do um, how to use the base stand from mesco 112 especially for batman figures and what do you guys find about this video hopefully it is uh, useful for you guys and see you guys at another video from me okay potato roboto signing off bye bye